And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. There you go. Hi. There you go indeed. That's how you start off a show with some pizzazz. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. <laughs> and starting off uh, with just an awesome guest, the legendary Brian Regan. Hey. Wow. Just right out the block. Look at that. Are you surprised that our capacity crowd of thousands in here were cheering for you like that? Man, I I should acknowledge this wonderful audience here. Thank you all. We should tell you, Brian, we're being broadcasted into a stadiums across the world. (laughs) So you're hearing that. Brian Regan, Stand Up and Away with Brian Regan, premiering on Netflix Christmas Eve. And he's co-starring in Peter Farley's Louder Milk. For tour dates and tickets, visit brianregan.com. Thanks for coming by. I know you did a long day of press. It's awesome to have you on the show. No, happy to be here. I, 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 I'm always backpedaling. I don't know that I would be call myself co-starring okay. on Louder Milk. I Ron, think Christine's trying to give you a higher billing on IMDb. I, 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 maybe technically. Ron Livingston is the, the main dude. He okay. plays Louder Milk. And then there's uh, Will Sasso has a, has a big thing. And I have a, I have a little role in there that uh, I get to show up and do some acting every now and then. So you hear it right here. Brian Regan, writer, director, star of Louder Milk. <laughs> <laughs> It's his concept, it's his baby, it's his, been his dream. Now he had to sell a bit of it off to the network, because that's a post Living, sticky legal yeah. situation. Yeah, no, you know no. Livingston can be a real ass about stuff like yeah. that. Sasso, I've heard, is a real troublemaker. Now, Will Sasso... Yeah, they're all great. Will Sasso stopped in, I was in Vancouver, and he stopped in and just did like a five-minute guest set as a character, and it was hilarious. To the point that it's like frustrating to watch someone that funny. Sometimes you're like, dude, you just fucked around. You In mean character on a stand on a stand up? Yeah, at comedy because he's not a stand up. Yeah, at comedy mix. He came and did this character that's like trying to do stand up. Oh boy! And it, and it was a thing where you watch it and you're like, like an, a not jaded Vancouver. A Canadian audience accepting that. Yeah. In New York, there'd be all the comics would be sitting in the back going like, "Cause what a fucking character. It's bullshit. <laughs> Is he making fun of us? Is he mocking what we do every night? I would hate to follow a guy who's not a stand-up <laughs> yeah, doing a character I'm... who's pretending to be a stand-up <laughs> And then not be able to follow that. Welcome to as my, a stand up. Welcome to my head for the first fifteen minutes of my set. <laughs> when a joke didn't hit, I was like, I think he was killing as a guy trying comedy. <laughs> I'm that I'm terrible. I gotta do an hour. <laughs> you're just like fifteen minutes in and you're like, yeah. fuck, 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 they know I'm a fraud. Right. It is funny, uh when you start off and you get the chance to open for people. I actually had the pleasure of opening for uh for you, Brian, at Caroline's before yeah. you jumped to the made the theater jump, the last one. Such a funny moment i think i told you this on oddball tour but uh they told me they're like you want to work with brian regan this week and i went yes for sure yeah and caroline's goes uh but you have to be like squeaky clean and i was like yeah i'll, I'll figure it out like for sure and on the very first show was uh i was going squeaky clean and there's a guy in the audience just i think he was gone before you uh before you even got on stage but like he was just Given it to me, we were just going, and I was trying to like go back at him with like, huh, this guy's being a real jerk, huh? <laughs> I bet you I'm trying to be clean. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, why don't you go home and have sex with a man? <laughs> <laughs> clean comebacks. Yeah. Clean Look at dirty. This weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Cool shirt, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a real jerk. <laughs> I, came, I came back in the green room, and it was great. I told you that. And, and my, my favorite thing about this story, I thought was the coolest thing ever, was you went, you could curse, huh? It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> like you, yeah, you I mean, the club was, was came down so hard. I was like, like See, "Sir, you are a real bad guy. You, <laughs> oh, I don't like the kind of person oh. you are at all. Talking you loud. Se- <laughs> you seem like a filthy man, a bad man. I I opened for Nate Bargatze in uh, West Virginia, and he was like, "Hey, man, you got to be clean." And I thought that I always kind of thought that thing of like. How clean do you have to be? So I cut out all my curse words, but I said, God damn. Uh-huh. And a woman in the second row just goes, he said GD. And that fu- that fucked with me. <laughs> yeah. That just threw sure. me into a tailspin because I was like, what else in my head? All I could think when I was for the rest of the set was, what other words are bad that I don't know are bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do like to work with people who are not super dirty in front of me, but I don't like to censor people. Yeah. Sure. So there's a difference between booking somebody who works clean and asking somebody who you just book hey you have to work clean tonight yeah because i don't like throwing that on people i don't want to censor i don't want to censor you right right no for sure no that's why that's what i loved about when we talked in the back you were like i wouldn't tell you how to do your which i thought was such a cool thing that is a very cool thing i had another comic uh before who was just i I worked with him before he went on the theaters and it always blew my mind when i went on stage i wasn't very dirty but 
I heard when I got off stage, he asked me to come in the back to go, I need you to be squeaky clean. And it was one of those, like, this guy was getting ready to go huge, too. So the audience was so excited when he touches the stage, it wouldn't have matter what happened. And yeah. Front. Same thing, like, you know, with you, Brian. I, I, I don't think I've ever told you a, a story that, because well, I was such, so mortified as a young kid that same weekend. You know this. Don't I know you? this yeah. story, and this is uh, this is an yeah. This, this is a is great, great story. <laughs> I mean, it's a terrible story. It's, but a, it's a terrible a great story, story. But the fact that Brian's on the show and you could tell it to him, I think you've told the story before on the I'm sh- sure on the show. But it's a, a, a thing of being opening for someone and having just a fucking colossal. It's a real story of the. Uh, Beware who you tell. Like, yeah, I'll get you and your friends or whoever into the show. Right. Uh, I when I first got to New York, just trying to find work that wasn't difficult, and also as a fat and secure guy, I tried to get a job at a weird strip club right across the street from Caroline's. I think it was more of a whorehouse. Uh, no booze, and it was just very bizarre, small place. With and the women in there were scraggly, but I. When I went in there and talked to the guy and told him I was a comedian, I became friendly with the bartender guy. Mm -hmm. And he would come see me do comedy shows once in a while. The guy who owned the place was a much more seedy gentleman. He was the guy who you can believe in. that. Yeah, and I said it like was the expression. It was funny. Seedy gentleman. <laughs> I, again, I'm I'm pretty uh, you know, uh, I'll go into a, a dark weird place with things and think things are interesting or even as dirty is great. However, this guy would just do a thing when the girls walked by. It was a very like, look at this new one. Like, you know, like grab an ass cheek or a t it was very mm -hmm. odd. But they asked me when you were in town if they can come see the show. So I said, I'll, I'll they're probably sold out. But Caroline's was nice to me and they gave him uh, four tickets. He goes, we're also going to bring, uh, there's four of us. <laughs> it's great watching. I'm just watching Brian's face process. Yeah. You say, you go, so this is one of the worst human beings I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he I brings didn't... three wild cards. <laughs> it was more You're headlining. It was more go, the what? bartender brought three people, one of them being the owner and two of the girls, but I did not know it was going to happen. Where do they sit them? <laughs> Front and center. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The, but I can say this. It's like the ghost of Christmas future. That show's in the past. Don't worry, Brian. This oh, isn't it's happening right I'm getting an anxiety attack <laughs> now. Go. Like, well, how am I going to handle this? And I've watched, it happened like many years ago. Yeah, I've what watched, am I opening with? <laughs> I've watched uh, uh, 100 plus sets of yours from TV to live to that weekend. I've never <laughs> seen in the middle of one of your bits, you just broke and were like, Miss, like you're talking, how rude you're being. You gave her like a talking to, which was oh. legitimately where. And I'm watching it in the back, going like, <laughs> oh. I'm like, did oh you? I'm out of show business. I'm like, this is going to be so, like, the club is going to be like, I mean, they couldn't have a piece of paper on their thing that says more guests of Jay Oakerson. <laughs> Could I'm, you see. Now, Brian's on stage, uh -huh. and you're in the back. And for those that don't know Caroline's, it's like a back, and then it's a hallway. So you're actually around the corner. So you're listening to Brian on stage. Mm -hmm. Did you know when he broke his bit that he was talking to the people you brought? A hundred percent. There was no one else that could have possibly been. It was an audience that was all there to see him specifically. Yeah. Sold out. They put my guest for some reason right in the front of people that were like, I guess, you know, like, I was like, we're going to come see. They were more going for like the hookup of me, like, right. Getting them because or, when you said earlier that they wanted to come see the show, I immediately thought, I don't think this. Uh, <laughs> <fans> <laughs> like, they were coming to see my show. They were just going to see a comedy show. I don't think they're a fan of mine. So I'm not worried about them hearing this at all. <laughs> I don't Do you, think this guy that was pawing on these young women go, man, I want to hear jokes about donuts. He goes, he goes come here. These wholesome donut sprinkle <laughs> jokes. He goes, come here, baby. Come here, baby. You ever heard a good Pop Tart joke? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't know. I like Pop Tarts. Yeah, well, I got your guy. <laughs> I, did you? Can you? When you're on. If I got a guy for you, <laughs> Chip Grabs. <laughs> yeah. when you're you like on, jokes about station wagons? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I got the guy for you. <laughs> When you're when you're on stage, he goes, can, I like my horse filthy and my comedy clean. Yeah. He goes, oh man, nothing gets me to a good, clean observation and a good, dirty girl. And he says something astute like, it's all about the juxtaposition of life. You know you what know, I mean? You know what, dude? Francis, so I didn't great. want to say this about you. You're balanced. You whore, you own a whorehouse and are on the board of St. Jude's. Uh, well, do you know when you're on stage? Can you feel? Because at this point, you 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 know what an audience feels like that's there to see you when something like that is in the front row can you like i was just at the albany funny bone it's gotta you be could, baffling at that point I, yeah you know that's what? what i'm saying can to, you tell to back up i think i remember that night oh wow. you probably do i'll tell you why i, I remember this being at caroline's and there was a woman in the front who was like just out of control 
and um, it, was a, it was a prostitute that I brought. Well, I, I I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever properly apologize for that. <laughs> I didn't do the what do you do for a living? I would have known. <laughs> you know? Also, oh, I'm a prostitute. Oh, well. How, how great is it to find out that a heckler years later was just a bad person? It's not even oh. well, the best part of the story is yet to come in a moment. Was all I can't wait for now is the show to be over so I can go out and I'm going to yell at these guys uh-huh. like out in the hall in the lobby for like what the fuck why would you do that yeah like, i got you in here as a guest like you're making me look like an asshole uh it takes forever for them to come out and then just the guys end up coming out i didn't go out there i guess fast enough and then the guys come out and they go they're right away they're like sorry man we're really sorry and i go yeah, man, you should be sorry. I go, that's crazy. I got you. I give him the speech I have prepared. I hooked you guys up, and you, and then you're gonna just talk during the show. And he goes, talk. Oh, you weren't in there for the very end, were you? <laughs> I went. What do you mean? He goes, a lady next, a some sweet lady fan of yours said to one of the prostitutes. Uh, she goes, wow, thank you. You really ruined that show for me. And then this oh, Puerto no. Rican prostitute was just like bit and just uh-huh. decked her in the face. Oh! And then they had, <laughs> no. and they go, they go. So they were already the removed. Getting worse. <laughs> yes, and worse. it's worse. <laughs> Roger, his face got like this. He's listening. And he goes, oh, oh, oh God. And then the knives came out. <laughs> you don't remember this? So then the woman said, "Yeah, there was oh, a monkey yeah. knife fight pit yeah. in the lobby. Yeah. They'd set up." Oh my God! You think Jay would have stopped picking up strays after that? <laughs> yeah. No, that was not my. Life. That was not my last dance. He's, he's invited some gnarly characters. Do you? Into yeah, so the next night, <laughs> I invite you. So Four now, we're, now we're to Friday. He goes, I'm under the Manhattan Bridge. I'm talking to some real sketchy fellows. I go. They I, seem cool though. I'm doing a show tonight. If you want to get some free tickets, I, I, I would say go to the early one. Oh, four I tickets. Four, I had a four-person guest list, and it was the four people that legitimately that made the crazy. show horrible. I, I did not know this story. You don't get crazy people at your shows now, right? Uh, not no, not usually. No, no. Especially if I'm performing somewhere where that's why you would be coming. I'm yeah. like, I'm not in a comedy club, so if I'm in a, a venue where you'd have to have a, you'd be coming there to see me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And also with the theaters too, like the the drinking's not constantly coming around to you. It's not money made off the, or I mean, there's money made, but it's not a bar business. Right. Once you're in the theaters when, too, which is like, which makes people not get so annihilated, which is generally what fucks up. When do you show. think the last time a uh, uh, like a stack of fries was served at one of your shows? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, must be really ripped into a ribeye while you were. <laughs> yeah. Who's the last time to dunk a chicken finger in front of you? I remember being at Caroline's one time, and this is when I was at the tail end of doing the comedy clubs, and uh, there was a guy at the front table, same table that your guests <laughs> sat at. <laughs> They, some say it's haunted. <laughs> yeah, they think right. it's a possessed table. That's right, it's a possessed table. They're afraid Every to move. Every story has to do with this one table. <laughs> and it was a guy, heavy set guy, and um, I was I was doing pretty good. And the front table, you can see, they're in the pool of light. And um, waitress brought a cheeseburger in front of him and set the cheeseburger down. And his eyes like rolled <laughs> into the back of his head. And the cheeseburger immediately became the headliner. Yeah. <laughs> and he like completely stopped looking at me and just turned and, and spent about f- 10 minutes just loving every moment of that cheeseburger. And it wasn't, and, and I just remember laughing to myself going, this is so bizarre. Yeah. You know, like it's comedy to a point. And then you have, and then you're doing comedy over people eating. And then when he was done with his cheeseburger, he like slid it away and looked back up at me as if, all right, back to you. That is, I say that out loud. Clown. I say is, that out loud on stage almost every weekend at this point. At least at one show where I just look down, and I just see somebody exactly cutting into a wedge salad or something. The like, feeling, why? Why would you have something that's going to cover the table in bacon pieces? <laughs> to, like, me, to me, the thing that doesn't make sense is I'm I can get over the food and the drink it's when people are doing group long division while i'm trying to do a bit and they have the checks and they're like yeah. you just watch that math happen and you're like i can't win in this you like want to say one of you pay the tab yeah, well, that and work it out later <laughs> yeah yeah work it out later but to, to figure it out there is the most 
insulting thing as a performer <laughs> going really and you can hear him going no no you you I ordered the second beer but then I canceled it yeah <laughs> so I think you triple charge us for a shot at that. <laughs> you know what I was getting heckled by this weekend was what you didn't you couldn't even tell what they were saying it was just <laughs> <laughs> and you go, are you guys are you guys good over there? And they go, we're, we're just figuring it out. Just you keep going. Yeah, you don't, don't worry about us. <laughs> I, I, I say, could you imagine if you went to a Broadway play, right? <laughs> and in 20 minutes before it's over, some guy crouched down next to you and said, it's $75 a piece. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. In the, it's right, absurd. It's in the but that's what happens in a comedy club every night. A crescendo of some yeah, fucking Yeah, digging song. in their pockets while you're watching the final act of a, a Shakespearean that's play. That's the beauty of the theater, though, is like they said, again, they're always coming to see like you particularly, or from recommend day, whatever it is, you know. They're coming to see a comedy show where to come. I mean, like bombing or, or just hearing silence in a room and hearing the sounds of, you know, a guy pulling gristle out of his mouth to wrap it in a napkin or something, or just, you know, just the sounds of fries being like pulverized by teeth. <laughs> jarring i still hear it sometimes i heard uh when it goes completely silent you just hear someone swishing around ice cubes <laughs> like you're impressing a bond uh, like you're impressing a bond yeah, villain. yeah 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 and they're like is that all you have mr bond yeah and like you don't you don't hear you, you, you look at him like you don't hear that you don't hear what you're doing <laughs> yeah. you know there's like you suck i don't know maybe make me like you more i went to a uh years ago i was on vacation and went to like this little town like they had a uh a play you know like a local community play mm -hmm. and it was all these long tables with chairs and whoever put on the play it was just like in this old wooden like rustic structure and uh but it's fun to see stuff like that well they put bowls of checks mix <laughs> throughout the entire throughout the entire theater so everybody sits down and all you're hearing is <laughs> and i'm like who approved this the whole play people were chewing on checks mix like, you know what adds to shakespeare loud bar snacks yeah put some, get... put some licorice nibs in that bowl or something yeah. man how about something soft chew or soft chew anything and the, chair, chew. the chairs were like metal you know, metal. It was yeah. a concrete floor, so anybody that sat down or got up to use the restroom was <laughs> sounds like a prison visit. To <laughs> and then, and then when they did sit down, <laughs> man, this is a great production. <laughs> you guys really sussed this room out. It's what nice. was? Do you remember in uh, your early days, like just hell gigs still to this? Day? I mean, I started in the in the black comedy circuit, so I have so many just from being the one white guy in a place that would go haywire. But then, let alone. Then jumping into like the open mic scene and performing in basements of places or places they don't think you should have a microphone even. You guys know Betty's Fireside? Betty's Fireside was a gig in New Jersey and it was notorious for being a rough room. And I had heard about it before I even moved to New York City. And uh, so I kind of looked forward to eventually playing Betty's Fireside. Yeah. Betty's Fireside was... Uh, a place where they had like a band and then in front of the band was the bartenders and then the bar and then the audience the oh. audience was all standing so for comedy night there, nobody was seated everybody it was just packed with people yeah. and uh i heard that the room can be rough so uh they wanted me to be the first comedian so i said all right fine and uh, I said, who does the offstage intro? And they looked at me like I was from another planet. <laughs> <laughs> offstage intro. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Fucking, what do you think you are? Where are you? What do you think you are? You think you're in the you think there's there? another microphone yeah. somewhere? Oh, I'm Rap sorry, Liberace. <laughs> we couldn't get the chandelier down for you to play your tunes. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, so that nice. guy's lighting the candelabra right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. And I said, well, how does the show start? They said, you just get on stage and start the show. So I was going to be the first of the three comedians. And I I said all right and i thought i had like enough chops where i could handle a rough room and uh so i just start walking up the steps to get on the stage and this guy from the corner in the back yells you suck <laughs> and I, i'm not at the mic yet yeah. so i can't yeah. i can't defend myself so i have to like look and wink like hey i'll get to you in a second <laughs> <laughs> hang tight bud hang on i gotta get to the microphone uh, you have to have a politician a politician point where you go i hear what you're yeah, saying yeah, I hear and you. I'm gonna... give me a second i gotta get to the sound system <laughs> there are issues there are issues sir <laughs> So I'm, I'm still walking to the mic, and a guy from the other side said, we think you suck from over here, too. 
So I was like double barreled, and oh. uh, I got to the mic and tried to nice guy it, which is was the worst move. Yeah, you know, smell like, the fear. Oh man, like uh, you know, I hit with the angle of, hey, c- come on, fellas, I've got- <laughs> <laughs> come on, I've got some oh. lighthearted comedy jokes I'd you, like to share with you. You verbally put your hands on your hips, <laughs> you went, guys. Yeah, stop it, <laughs> boys, boys, yeah. boys. And they, yelling is bad. Yeah. That's that's not right. Come on, guys. <laughs> you know that's not right. Yeah. And they just uh, they just buried me. And it was one of the first times that I didn't do my entire time. Everybody was supposed to do a half hour. And I'm on stage 10 minutes in, and I'm going, this this ain't doing anybody any good. <laughs> Me doing a half hour ain't doing anybody yeah. any good. You know yeah. I mean? The guy, the guy after helping? he's got more to clean up. Yeah, the guy yeah. who was following me, like, he's going to watch 30 minutes of this? Yeah. He's going to leave, you know? There is that funny thing when you're watching someone have a rough time in front of you, and a part of you is like... You know, you feel terrible for me, you want, but then it's like, oh man, if they jump like early, it's like it's going to throw the whole thing off. So, you know, yeah. like that's got to be a scary there ha- thing. There's been times where I've watched people eat it so hard that you want them to jump early. You want to be like, get off, come on, come on. No, I know that's what I'm saying because you don't yeah. want them to like have to Poison do the, the full time of like, man, yeah, this, exactly. this crowd might start. The people who don't know me are going to come in here thinking like, this might be this the whole time. Yeah, yeah, because it's amazing. Still, you know, I was just at the Albany Funny Bone, which is in a mall, and you really look out and you're like, thirty percent of you are here to see me, and every Everyone else just got a coupon. <laughs> what the MC this weekend goes? Have you? He, I, there was a. I don't. You know, I was coming home on Sunday, and I was like, "Are you staying for the Sunday show?" And he goes, "No, it's a, hip, it's a hypnotist." And I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like <laughs> that's like a Sunday show at a club, right?" And he goes, "You ever open for a hypnotist?" I was like, "Yeah." You haven't? And he was like blown away. You forget all the crazy shit that you open well, for. All these, mall cl- all these mall clubs, it really is. Add to the ridiculous menu eating. Now add like four bags from Foot Action USA. <laughs> yeah. Like Claire's. Yeah. I filled in. I filled in for a comedy hypnotist. Yeah. And nobody told me <laughs> <laughs> or the audience. Or the audience. Wait, they were waiting for you. They to... thought that I was going to do comedy hypnosis, and I, I just ate it for an hour, and I walked off stage, and you get that flop sweat, and the first thing you want to do is go to the bar and get yourself a, a double Jack and Ginger or something, and somebody came up to me and said, how come you didn't make us act like chickens, you know? And I'm like, they were all waiting to be in the What are you talking about? Dude, and they showed me the table tent that was on every table comedy hypnosis night <laughs> nobody knew th- including me it said, one- it said relax your minds and prepare for comedy <laughs> more, than, more than a quarter of the people in the audience after 20 minutes was like this guy is really long on the foreplay yeah. <laughs> this guy really, really, yeah. this guy are we supposed, supposed to be paying attention to keywords <laughs> have I been asleep for 10 minutes and I don't even know it has he been programming us with these stories yeah, <laughs> yeah, really? s- s- goofy the station wagon thing maybe now we start making chicken noises <laughs> Do you think we're gonna wake up in a station wagon? We've been there the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking crazy. But the, it was it was like this innocent question when the MC asked that, where he was like, "Have you opened for him?" She's like, "Oh, buddy, I've opened for a silent clown, and his wife plays the piccolo." <laughs> and then uh, what I like is then when you meet a old, like a comic that's been around the road, they're like, "Oh, TC Hatter still out there?" <laughs> You're like, "Oh, fuck." You really forget as a comedian. That was my favorite thing ever. Was Chips Cooney? I was uh, he was featuring for me in. Philly once or outside of Philly and uh, as he was tying his he goes so what have you been up to I said I just opened for David Tell on the Insomniac tour uh, on the east coast and he goes yeah he goes like uh like theaters and stuff? I go, yeah, it was like a bunch of theaters. As he's tying his magician's cape, he goes, I'm good to see that kid's doing theaters now. And then, he's, <laughs> and, then he goes, and then he ran back in the room, you know, whatever, 30 minutes later in his underwear with a fake shit stain in it, holding his tuxedo in his hands, and he goes, hot crowd. <laughs> he goes, hot, hot crowd. You know, the thing about opening for so or subbing for somebody who you didn't know you were subbing for, that was always the best with the the black circuit ski trip shows yeah they would book them and get these high budgets because they would be like, you know like chris tucker and martin lawrence are coming and then they would get the budget and then pay me and whoever i wanted to bring like seven hundred dollars and you'd get there and you'd be like hey where are the comedians and go i thought uh 
Chris Tucker was going. You know, yeah. It was like not that level, but it was like they always thought it was names from like Def Jam that were coming. And they was like, no, not only is it not them, it's also two white guys who didn't know that's what, this is what was happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Man. it would just go almost nightmarish every time. That's rough. I mean, that's just got to be promoters just being like, oh, we could. There's all- some snagging money. Yeah, they're yeah. getting like ten thousand right. dollar budgets and paying out seven hundred dollars. Man, oh if you man. would do two in a night, you'd get like a thousand. I don't, I don't want to hold you up here too long. I know you had a long day of stuff, but can you tell us about the new uh, Netflix show, Stand Up and Away with Brian Regan, premiering on Christmas Eve. Uh, I, I hate promoing myself, but it, it's a four episode series on Netflix. Um, Jerry Seinfeld is executive producing, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. It's incredibly cool that he's backing the show. Yeah. And um, it's a hybrid show. It's me doing a lot of my older stand up bits. And then those segue into sketches and, uh, you know. Hell yeah. So Did you, you have a blast doing it? Yeah. 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 Did it, I, I did it. I shot it in front of, like, fans of mine. I didn't want to do, like, one of those things where they just bring in an audience. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, we asked people who know me if they wanted to come out and see the show, and uh, it worked out pretty good. That's uh, awesome. Fantastic. You think there's going to be more of these? Well, that's what we're hoping. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens with these four. That's right. So know. check out Stand Up and Away with Brian Regan. It's premiering on Netflix Christmas Eve. You're going to have to get a tag team party going against Dave Attell and Jeff Ross to see who's going to get the comedy series re up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. If they're bumping <laughs> I think it's awesome they're doing that, I think, across the board. They, like, they have they, Netflix things, too? They did Netflix, the bumping mics, Jeff and Dave, where right. it's, a, it's three episodes of them working together on stage together. So that, I, the idea they're doing that at all, with I think it's uh-huh. an idea that's been long in the wait. Like, like a comedic, uh, episodic thing, including stand up and things like right. that, which is awesome. Awesome, man. You're, uh, I mean, you're a legend. You're hilarious. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks so much. Uh, thank for you very on, much, man. I, I appreciate, I appreciate, man, appreciate yeah. the kind words, and uh, thanks for bringing back the horrific memories. Of the, uh, <laughs> I'm so excited on a radio show. Yeah. I'm so excited on a radio show that I was able to tell you that I was, it was such a thing. It's, it's my number one story of like, you got to watch who you invite to a show, man. Uh, Brian Regan, everybody, again, stand up in a way, premiering Christmas Eve on Netflix, and also Peter Farrelly's Louder Milk. Uh, you can check him out in that. For tour dates and tickets, visit brianregan.com. Brian, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks uh, so We'll much. be right back. It's the bonfire. That is not a lie. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Getting it on! I didn't know little Boosie before today. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> I didn't know either. We were just saying something funny happened. Um... I just have these macaroons that are off the charts uh, during the break, which I've, I've had happen to me before several times. Oh, well, we'll say, yeah, I mean, Brian Regan, first off, what a fucking great guest. I mean, yeah. for, for someone, I love his comedy. I'm a huge Brian Regan fan. Did for Jacob him, text anybody? Killer interview? Probably not. Jacob hates our interviewing skills. But it's so awesome to meet someone that you love, like their work, and then they are a fucking incredible person and Brian Regan is that. Like, yeah, he's a good guy. You meet him and you're like, man, I love you. And we were taking a picture and he was being really nice. He goes, hey, get one with my phone and he opened his phone and he brought up uh, Google Chrome and it was him Googling who I was. <laughs> it was just my face in six different places and you're like, oh, you were Googling who I was so you didn't know. That's the less hurtful version though of when someone comes up to you after a show. Yeah. I get this one a lot. <clears throat> Look, sorry, no offense. I've never heard of you ever before. Yeah. And you're like, it's not offensive to say that. When you're saying no offense, it feels like you mean it offensively. You mean it like I'm not shit. And you go, I know you're not shit, but I just want to let you know that was fine. I know you're not shit. I enjoyed it, so now I'm into an underground thing, just so you know. Uh, yeah, I get one with... with I'm really people, hipster. I'm when people don't know, stuff. When people know the bonfire, I mean, campers, it's always like, you immediately see me light up. Because I'm like, oh, you guys fucking know me. But when someone's like, I get this a lot. I just saw you on Billions, so I didn't know. But like, you're actually like a comedian. And you're like, That's anyway, cool. what should I buy stock <laughs> yeah. this week? Should I short, should I short futures on <laughs> gold? I'm like, I don't even know what that means. But uh, yeah, that, no, it's funny. Let me that say it, what a short squeeze is. I know that. Because mm. that was a scene before me that I had, yeah, I just don't know what it means. <laughs> uh, I tried convincing them to bring your character back in a way. I love that. I mean, it wouldn't make, it would make sense if Mafi was friends with the Montreal drug dealer. What if it's just the movie Bullet, just at the end, the thing, last thing of the season is Axe was uh, and lighting a cigarette on the street and I just, you see like a rope drop behind him and mm-hmm. then I just rappel, like I just slide down the rope like SEAL Team 6. That would be awesome. Slit his throat, climb back up the rope. It'd be fucking awesome. Also, it was, I, oh my God, the fucking, Drug dealer from Montreal. Um, for this in season one, low level weed dealer. I didn't know he worked for such dangerous people. 
Can that be on? A short squeeze is a rapid increase of the price of the stock that occurs when there's a lack of supply and excess of demand for the stock. I mean, I know that, but I yeah. don't want Jay to feel that's bad. what they say. Uh, you know, in the scene also, and I, I just don't know. Short Thank squeeze. you though for I, I like you have that information just in your head, which is cool. I mean, yeah, dude. I will short squeezes result when short sellers cover their position on the stock, resulting mm-hmm. in buying volume that drives the stock price up. But that's why it's great that you're like really into this stuff. I mean, I just I, I live see, the honestly, life. campers. I'm, when you see Dan on his weekends, ask me. If, for financial advice. Really dig deep with financial advice. I mean, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get in the mud with all of you. If you're wondering which one Dan's going to be, he's a comic performing with that, uh, <laughs> with a, a suit, ma- a green suit made of exclamation points. <laughs> <laughs> I also have the fun glasses that tell you I know information, but that information could be crazy. Well, each lens is a dollar sign. You're probably wondering. So you know how well I do. Whatever happened to that guy? You're dressed like Don Magic Wand. Who the... The college guy. The no, guy with the green suit. Yeah, say, I mean, that he guy He became was, the Riddler, man. Don't he, you follow lore? He, was the, he got taken down by the FBI. He became the actual Riddler. He He's started, Arkham Asylum. He started threatening people. Where is he, Dan? In Arkham Asylum. Why, go there and find out. Jeez, figure something out, dude. Well, we have a, uh, another guest coming in, but that little Bootsy video. Little Boozy? Boozy. Boozy. Bootsy? This was Bootsy on Star today. This made me laugh so hard. Nothing makes me happier than a, a goofy white girl that sang a... Just talking very hip hop, I just makes me laugh. I love it. It's uh, you know, my favorite video, hands down. If we were doing the rankings of our favorite clip mm-hmm. of anything we've seen, it's masturbating mom. I mean, that is that's not as as millennial girls would say. That's a mood. <laughs> <laughs> masturbating meth mom is a mood. Master, masturbating meth mom is my favorite oh, clip yeah! ever of the mom. Oh, uh, skate, 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 skate. Yeah, Windows to the no, wall. Can't sweat your down my balls. Yeah, yeah, that's the best one. He'll sweat <laughs> your down your balls. Yeah, how yeah. about this hot divorce pussy? Yeah. It's like she's noogie in her clip. Yeah. And then it's like ding, 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 and her friend's going, you kicking ass over there, she kid. Oh, my God, I can't believe how many ding you're getting on this. <laughs> oh, my God, we can buy a whole rack of Milwaukee's Beast if you keep getting ding a <laughs> ding you're getting so many ding-a-lings, darling. I oh, can't believe. Oh my God, you're rubbing your puss fast. <laughs> oh can't. man, you guys better keep ding-a-linging, or she's gonna start her fire. <laughs> Je- I can't believe John left you. What a homo! <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn kids fell out of house. You can catch that dick right. How many dicks you want? <laughs> oh, right here, right here. <laughs> what what am I fucking doing, my pussy? Oh my god! Please bring it up. It's, I never don't want to watch it. I'm sorry. I can only assume if you're listening at home, you also want to hear. If it. you don't know what it is, uh, your life's about to change. Meth, masturbating meth mom, because we could is better than masturbating care, masturbating bear, which was one of my favorite Conan characters. We can of all pump time. this up, and then when we have our guest come in, we can talk about this with him. I think. I mean, I'm sure he's fine talking about stuff like this. Oh. I don't think this this would be a weird line in the sand to draw. I'm totally sure. Yeah. Oh man, how much would it would sting? It, it, the Brian Regan. It's funny, and I get it. If Steve-O also had me Google, oh, we didn't announce who our guest was. Oh shit! Sorry. Fuck, I'm terrible. Doesn't matter. Steve-O's coming. Everybody's in New York. He's coming yeah, to yeah. see us. Um. So this is little boozy, dude. This is boozy great. got don't, some don't snow. Bring up this one yet. Snow bunny showing pussy lips. Bring up Har's hole. Sorry, sorry. Put, uh, <laughs> do the uh, we did eventually watch the girl that says she only lets dog lick her ass, right? Yeah, yeah. We did ultimately watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she drops the hard hard end bomb with yeah, the R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was great. Bring up Meth Mom. What's the name of the video? The Horrors of Cam Whoring. Why would you not remember oh, that also? You know what's great about you, Jay, is you, your mind retains that kind of way like an old prospector. No, like, yeah, I know where it is. It's the middle next to the left one. And You're right. Because you know, I forget you know that? things you go, minute to minute. Yeah. I, minute I, to minute. I, in the middle of my sentence, I don't forget what I'm talking about all the time. But. If I want to know where a masturbating meth mom is, you go, Adventures of Cam Horn Volume 2. I don't even know what it is. I That information. But I'm you three members of Toto. I'm here. You're there. I'm here. Yeah, but you're here to scratch my back. I'm here to scratch your back. Yeah. And that's what it is. To the window. To the wall. Sweat goes down your balls. Oh, it's, on, it's on E-Fuck. I got her. I'm just trying to... Um, so, I, you know, Tom Segura and Christina P. talked about Good Morning, Julia. They got they, her on the show. They got Julia on How do we not get... Uh, so, yeah. fuck that. Get Let's get her on our show. Or is a web court? Dude, uh, I agree. come on! I, we can't find out who she is. Find I, I've asked this. I've asked this of our, of our fans oh, before. Oh, God. The clips around it. That's so fun. Watch out, Lynn. It's going to hit your head. 
Oh no. Yeah. Have the film crew, have you guys ever seen this one? Oh, get Can some you headphones hear? on. Get headphones on immediately. Oh, it is disturbing. Turn off all background music. Yeah, Luke. Cut. Oh, cut. That's Christine thinks that this thing is a soundtrack. What the fuck were you listening to? That's, I don't know why there's always Spotify up on the computer. Christine, I'm serious. Christine has super sad commercial breaks. Where she just puts her headphones on and just. Yeah, she goes, I'm just going to go into a shelf for a couple minutes, guys. How long is this a double break? Do you guys mind if I get two songs from Les Mis? I'm really going to sink deep. She goes, Christine. You're Can producing you your way. You're bringing up clips. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing your thing. We're You're gonna... a girl about town. <laughs> We're going to do a bonfire musical. Yeah. <laughs> the Christine song where she goes, Christine, you're more than a YouTube jockey. You're a producer of the show. <laughs> Executive producer Christine. I can see it now. <laughs> I'm going to be somebody big. Well, guess what, boys? The videos <laughs> don't play themselves. Pause, start, stop, finish. It's all the same to you. I'm in a tornado of commands. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what to do. Well, I'm back. <laughs> Jacob's gone and Lou is drunk and Black Lou's doing something on social media. And I'm alone in the light. <laughs> Just a girl getting coffee for some people in the office. Donkey laughs. Donkey laughs. Uh, let's go to masturbating. Just a girl. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, crank it. Oh, Jesus, being divorced and having this. Oh, God damn. Oh, divorced mama. No kids, all grown up. Woo, woo. Oh, go, mama. Go, mama. Go, mama. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, there's no life with an alcoholic. Oh, man. There's, there's a life of an alcoholic. Just the life of an alcoholic. What you don't know is that her friend, don't watch the rest of the videos. They are. No, don't worry. It comes back to her, though. It does come back She's to her. Hey. Yet. Hi. I mean, yeah, watch some of these videos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it's after this. Dan doesn't like this one because he, he fucking uh, stood her up on prom. Yeah, I was supposed to. Chew my motherfucking hands, Nikki. Oh, my mouth. Nikki. Find Nikki. She's the friend that she talks to. And we found Jackson. Uh, we're talking about Jackson. <laughs> we're going to mess around. You, you can hear it? Crank yeah. it up. Go. I want them. I want my mouth. one want my ass. One of my pussy and chew my motherfucking hands, Nikki. Oh, oh. ski, 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 ski. <laughs> to the window, to the wall, to sweat pours down your balls. That's, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I like that she jerks off with this fucking oh, what's up. Oh, yeah. People watching. People watching. The noise and all the fucking people watching. That fucking excites me. Oh, yeah. You want to pollinate that? Yeah, we'll pollinate that flower. Pollinate that flower? Right open. Yes. Ooh, God bless America. Her friends is. Come on, ding 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 ding. Everybody in this room would fuck her body. Oh, Mama, come again. Put that focus right here. Put that focus right here. That's badass. Goddamn right, it's <laughs> yeah, Jacob. Jacob. There's no denying that. Uh, the friend is the the person I want to talk to. Nikki. Nikki, who's just off there fucking ripping pall malls. No, you'd be surprised. There's lots of people watch. <laughs> she goes, oh, man, Julia brings in a lot. That's the other Julia. <laughs> she got a nice clam. I got to be. I'm not in the girls. I had a boyfriend busted up in '97. <laughs> Honduran fella just ripped me to tune. <laughs> Split me like a log. Uh, before Steve-O gets here and we talk about this little boosy thing, um, I want to say met some cool people. Jacob is not here, but Jacob's not here. Um, nah. Jeremy, nah. A, a fan of ours, Jeremy. I hope I'm getting the names right. Um, J yeah, it was definitely Jeremy. Gave gave us uh, and I'm bringing them in all at the same time when Jacob's here. Um, he gave us all challenge coins from. He's a firefighter. So Hell yeah! From his fire department. That's fucking awesome. Uh, which is really awesome. Very cool uh, honor 
honorable thing for the, to get as a gift. Yeah. Uh, and he also gave a real, like that he restored himself a little bit. Yeah. Uh, fucking legit megalodon tooth. What? It's heavy as fuck, dude. It's crazy. That's fucking awesome. And this one, Jacob doesn't have to write a uh, an essay for. No, yeah. And then, yeah. you want to show me this? Because I got a really cool one to tell you next. Oh, this is from Eric O'Neill. We posted this on Instagram. Oh, it, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Eric O'Neill's picture. drawing. I finally got it in my backpack. That's really brought it really in cool. so we put it in the office. We look like fucking New Zealand Maoris. Yeah, we look bad ace. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. And then uh, uh, Chris, a fan I met in Wilmington, uh, former police officer, is sending, I believe, I hope I didn't hear him wrong. I don't want to say it's wrong, but I think he said, huh? Can you say that he's sending him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's, sending us, he's sending us tactical gear. What like the collapsible baton, like the so. Yeah. I th I think I told you this. A fan in Minneapolis gave me a collapsible baton. Turns out can't fly with them. You really just can't, huh? No. You gotta start checking a bag, dude. I don't even think you could. Absolutely, you could. Yeah. A collapsible baton. I should. Sure. I gave it, but the MC drove me, and I gave it to the MC. The problem was you protection. freaked out and you just you maced TSA first. That's why they got him upset. I snapped it open and I said, "Come get a taste." <laughs> yeah, I go check my PlayStation Four again and see what happens. Yeah, see if I don't bop you. See if I don't bop you. A short face. squeeze is oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's a short squeeze? I start looking. at oh, A short squeeze is oh fuck! I just gave it away. God, I'm bad at this. Dude, how uh, excited are you for tactical gear? Yeah, I'm super excited for tactical. I don't even know what the other things are going to be. Oh, man, I hope it's a bulletproof vest. I'm going to wear no shirt, bulletproof vest, like 50 cent. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah. Going, you're going, I mean, dude, I'll take some military, uh, tactical pants would be cool. No. You want tactical stuff. I no. mean, now that I'm a knife guy, I got the itch. Well, I know you got a knife for your birthday, but I want like a couple pairs of tactical pants just so I know what to grab when I'm leaving. You don't want to wear tactical pants. You don't know Because when you're not being tactical in them, you look lame as shit. Do I? Well, oh, is the apocalypse going to be about who's making fashion statements? You're buying pants solely for the apocalypse? Yes. That's a buffoon move. You're a buffoon. <laughs> You'll be a slave to the buffoons. No. When the buffoons take over. Pants aren't going to be my problem when the apocalypse comes. It will be. <laughs> we'll run each other. Up. You'll see. We'll run each other into the high pines uh, Jay's of Nebraska. Out the, Jay's out there getting rations and weaponry. He goes like an idiot. I'm here collecting pants. He goes, you, Jay will come to me when he needs some slacks. <laughs> when he needs some good tactical slacks. He goes, yeah, well, good luck finding uh, 42 long tactical pants when the apocalypse yeah. happens. What are you going to do? Good Pil luck. You're going to pillage uh, J.C. Penny in Des Moines? Because it's already <laughs> been pillaged. But at Dan's tactical pants. Where are you going to go to Roosevelt Field Mall? Because everybody else already had that idea too. Idiot. Idiot. That's where most of the zombies are even. That's where the <laughs> outbreak started. I don't know if you watch, but the malls are where they at. The zombies they... go to the mall, dude. <laughs> you need it's to like learn. Their instincts. You need to learn the undead. <laughs> they love malls. And they're going to be sitting around there with no pants. No pants. Because first, whatever pants you're wearing when the apocalypse happens, you rip you're through shitting them. those. Yeah, you're you, shitting those pants. If you turn zombie, you shit and piss immediately. You got a second pair of pants. You're going to shit first time you see what's going on outside. Now, let me tell you this. Have you ran from a zombie in regular Lee's? <laughs> And just some jeans. I'll tell you this: you are Someone slow down. Someone should make a commercial that says Lee jeans are great for running from zombies. You got, you got to make yeah, bung, Lee's dungarees. Can't bust them. Yeah, buddy Lee. Lee's dungarees with a three hundred and sixty degree seam that lets you. Yeah, dude. I'm telling really, you, really, you can you can really open it up on the uh, but field here, of battle with zombies. But here at Dan Soder's Tack Light Pro Pants, <laughs> we've got pants for you to run from the zombies that you can sleep in, that you can start a new family in. Dude, apocalypse pants need to be. What's going to end up in those pockets so much? Oh man, we well, got pills. You got water purifying pills. You have no. I mean, before the apocalypse, when you're wearing them, what's going to oh, be? going to be hilarious. It's going to be lighters. Like, yeah, lighters, dime bags of weed, papers. Uh, are you go back ear, to buying smaller bags of weed now. Earbuds. Earbuds. Yeah, I already did, dude. Maybe some AirPods. I already did. I know we can't show this on camera because, let's see. Is that ten dollars? <laughs> no, that's well, not a dime bag then. You're a dime bag. I'm talking about the old. Dave Smith would tell me when he was younger that like people would buy like I, I don't I didn't buy weed when I was young at all. So people said they would buy like five dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could like just buy bags. a little tiny. I bought a uh, two grams. Uh, when I first moved here, if it was about measuring out, because two grams either could be a felonious. Like, is that is that uh, somewhere near a kilo, or is that like uh, you know something you could fit on a spoon? There's a dime bag, um, but you could. I bought two twenty bags from this guy that he was in Hoboken, and he ran the. He like worked at the parking lot, mm -hmm. and it was right when I moved to New York. It was January, 
And my buddy's like, do you want to go get the weed? And he was like this fucking terrifying dude that worked at the parking lot. I think he was like, a, he was either Italian or Dominican, but he was fucking terrifying. And he was like, oh yeah, you want two 20 bags? All right, let's go take, let's take a walk. And I go and it's, I have my gloves on and he's got two glass vials of weed. And he handed it to me and it slipped and it fucking broke on the street. And he goes, just like that. <laughs> and it's the dumbest I've ever yeah, felt in my life. I'm a customer. I'm going to have to like pay for that, right? I go, oh, I got it. And I just went down and fucking picked the weed up out oh, of the snow. Goes, it's an accident, right? It's I go, an accident. I'm so sorry. And then I just took the weed back. I mean, it definitely it was glass-filled weed. I, I don't even know. I just put it in my fucking gloved hand. And I was like, all right, this is, man. Glass filled weed is not, don't. Dude, it was the worst feeling because I went back to the place I was staying at with like these three guys and they're like, did you get, and it was like my 40 bucks. So I was like, I'll get weed guys. Um, you guys are letting me crash here. But even on a smaller, that hasn't happened a thousand times where like a bowl of weed is loaded and gets like over to you and the wind just, like, <laughs> just takes the whole nugget out of there. And you're like, oh, no. All right. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. And you got to go to the guy and go, do you have more? Do you have more weed? Can I have more? Do you have more of it? This guy that I bought weed from used to sit around and smoke the weed that he just sold us. That's hilarious. I don't have any young weed stories. But I remember being like 18 yeah. in Denver and being like, what, That's are you, hilarious. what are you doing? You guys smoking like, that fucking Primo I just sold you, bro. Yeah, I was fucking fired up. And you go, are you joining us <laughs> he's like look i guess also i'll give you this for free i got these crazy oversized blunt wraps he goes why don't nuts. you roll it into that roll it all up hey you guys want to watch a movie i'm in this i'm in the background of this movie you want to watch it oh dude you, it's a rom-com but i'm in the background i told you guys about that fucking uber i took in miami a couple years ago where the guy picked me up in a fucking tokyo drift kind of car like a fast and the furious car like an uber and then he drove he made me sit in the front seat because he had two 12s in the back that's fucking hilarious <laughs> and it was five o'clock in the morning and i was the whole time i was like dude this is the worst ever and he's, he's like thumping dude he's thumping the, and i go can you turn that down man it was five o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm sorry, man. Like, it's giving me a headache. And he's like, Yeah, I was almost in Forrest Gump. And I was like, <laughs> What? <laughs> You're like, Nah, man. Crank those tunes back up. And that's what he always saves you from t having shitty I like, conversations. I go, What? What do you mean you were almost in Forrest Gump? This is the guy's real story. I'm walking out I feeling told... good. Tom Hanks walks in the door, and I'm, the rest is history, dude. I thought I, I swear to God, I th thought I told this story on the show before, but that fucking guy goes, I was I was supposed to be in Forrest Gump, and I was like, what do you mean you're supposed to be in Forrest Gump? He goes, so me and my brother are on a school bus, right? And like the school bus just like keeps going and stopping and going and stopping, and we're like, what's up? What's going on? This is this guy's story. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm going to Miami airport, and I'm like, you do that thing where you like when in the middle of this, I was thinking how you go because you go. Yeah. <laughs> it was more like yeah. this. I go, yeah? I like the, yeah. He goes, I was on his forest gump. He go, I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. He really was. And then he's telling me the story. He goes, and the bus just keeps driving back, and it comes back and forward. And finally, me and my brother are like, what's going vroom, on? Vroom. 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 Bus vroom. goes forward. Bus comes over back. Over and over again. Over and over. And he just kept saying that. And he goes, and I get off, and they're like, oh, you didn't want to be in the movie, and it was Forrest Gump. And I'm like, that's not at all how that works. At, what? And then as we pulled up to the airport, he just pulls up to the departures, just where everyone drops him off, and he goes, VIP service. And I go, you're just dropping me off on the curb. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I swear to God. Same thing I would do for a VIP, bro. He goes, you're a very important person, dude. Don't under don't overlook yourself. Nuh -uh. No. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great if you give me the moment. He goes, no. bro, everyone uh, deserves a little VIP in their day. He goes, take care, know, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fucking> car goes, <laughs> <laughs> kicks out yeah, sideways. Fucking drifts. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great if he just goes up, his wheels turn sideways, sure. fucking flies oh, away. I go, what? Wow. He was an alien. Hey, man, where we're going, we don't need roads. I go, dude, <laughs> shut up. You're an idiot. And he takes off. He goes, I offer. Am I now? You would have had to listen to me all the way flight back to New York, <laughs> but I could have got you there pretty quick. <laughs> you know what I love about driving in a spaceship car? Don't have to deal with security, man. Yeah, I'll just dude, straight to fly. You can bring your cron right with you. When he picked me up, I remember in the hotel parking lot, like him pulling up and me being like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and then, like I go to the back seat. He goes, "Nah, man, sit in the front." And you're like, "Fuck." Are our fuck. are our guests here? They're not checked in or anything yet.
Uh, they left a note that said, "Go fuck, fuck yourself." You, yeah, um, yeah. In the ultimate jackassing. They that did was the when, show. <laughs> that was when Uber was brand new. Yeah, brand new. I didn't use. I don't use anything. I don't beta test shit. I forgot who told me about it, but like it was super easy. And then I talked to the hotel. Ashton Kutcher was it your good friend Ashton Kutcher? It was. It's my good buddy Ash Kush. He got, he got in a ground level on Uber. Did he really? He's like. Uh, whatever shareholder in like everything that's popular. I mean, I don't know if it's, but it would, I don't know if it, it's public information. But so he's got a ton of money. Stern. Oh my God, he's yeah. got to be a. He's, like, in... he's like way early level, like Uber, Airbnb, Airbnb, like all the shit that you know and use, like Tinder. Who was the Who was the gun? Twi- he's like he's like Twitter. He's like early thing on Twitter. Who's the GNR? Two hundred fifty million dollar portfolio. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, but he was a heartthrob. Yeah, well, we got that. That's a lot out. of it. That's why they have taken. Who was Those the gun? Cheeks. Who was the Guns and Roses member? Duff it, McKay. It was Duff that invested in Starbucks and Apple. Yeah. <laughs> His dad did it though for him. Well, who gives a shit? He put the Guns and Roses money. It was actually Yahoo. It was like Yahoo, whatever. But it's still. Yeah. It was all, it was all, <laughs> Oh, hey guys, this is Duff. I say invest wisely in Starbucks and Yahoo! <laughs> oh man, I love Mr. Reverb. Mr. Brownstone probably would have done a lot better if he had just invested in Yahoo! <laughs> Your Reverb was is better. Is that Guns N' Roses that over sucks. here? Yahoo! That's how you're not you're on the you're up on the mic too much. You gotta give it, oh. you gotta croon it in. I get it. Man, I'm such a bass guy. You're such a I th- is our, our guest here? Dude, you're sick ass. They're going to be here soon, I assume. Dude, what? Steve O plays by his own set of rules. Don't try to fucking lock him down. I'm not going to lock him down. I'm going to have to What you like about him? He's a wild card. I have to pee. Go make a sis. I'm going to go make a sis. We're going to take our second break. Hey, what's up? It's Dan Soder, and this is Pissing on a Commercial Break. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I know we got a limited time before we're back on air. <laughs> 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 Uh, we'll, uh, take the, we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. E. Thank God, because when do you want to spot that burglar? Oh, that burglar? That's yeah. quick, That's burglarizing your house? When do you want to spot him? When he's casing your home or after know. he's in? Maybe when he's just burglaring during the day. When he's, oh, well, you know, every time's a good time for burglaring for this idiot. Burglars don't burglarize when burglary is at a burglaring rate. I mean, when is the best time to burgle? Would you say it was? <laughs> <laughs> My father was a burglar. His father People, a burglar. You already know with this mush mouth uh, that we're giving you here what we're talking about, right? Yeah. It's Blink. Blink Home Security. You know that. Blink's motion activated indoor and outdoor cameras are wire free. They set up in minutes and they run on two AA batteries that last the two years. Uh, and if you're traveling over the holidays, their live feed option lets you monitor your home and check in on your pets from anywhere using the Blink smartphone app. There's no contracts, no subscriptions ever. Totally affordable. And Blink also works with Alexa now. Blink camera systems make great holiday gifts, and they're a brilliant way to monitor holiday package deliveries. Save up to a whopping 40% off all outdoor XT and add-on cameras through December 22nd while supplies last. Visit BlinkProtect.com slash holiday. That's BlinkProtect.com slash holiday. Blink, do you know what, Dan? They're an Amazon company. Are they? Yeah. What? And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, man. This song gets me hyped. Does it? Yeah, man. It's a I've, great day. We got Steve-O in his pet wolf in studio. Oh, just bringing in beasts. <laughs> yeah. To the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Joining us, Steve-O and his loyal wolf. Yeah, dude. Is that Chris Pawnee has turned into a spirit animal? <laughs> now you have to take care of him? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's my Peruvian street dog, Wendy. Oh, Wendy's a Peruvian street dog? <laughs> yep, that's why I found her in the streets of Peru. Oh, you man. found her there? Yep. And brought her home, really? Mm-hmm. I thought that was a type of dog when you said that to me. <laughs> that does, that sounds <laughs> like, Peruvian street dog goes, is that a, bre- is that a breed? <laughs> that's uh, like a thing you'd hear on the Westminster dog show. They go, coming up next, a Peruvian street dog. <laughs> yeah, and um, frankly, I'm a little bit hurt that you didn't already know that. <laughs> that, you didn't know that she was a street dog. Well, no, because the video that I made of um, finding her um, is by far the most viewed piece of content that I have ever posted online. That's, really? By the way, that's more of a that's a bummer to me, only because you have such an amazing 
fucking footage online for years. This is the, now I feel like an asshole for not seeing it. Well, I mean, don't feel like an asshole. It's no big deal. But um, <laughs> when we were on top of the Empire State Building today, mm-hmm. we met three different people who told us, "Oh yeah, I follow Wendy on Instagram." Really? <laughs> <laughs> were yeah. they more? Were they more? Were they more pumped to see Wendy? They're like, "Is, uh-huh. that, is that Wendy?" <laughs> yeah, and I don't mind a bit. Yeah. So you have a, I don't mind a bit. How long is the video? Um, I don't know. There's different versions of it, but um, the initial one was like four minutes. Is there one where Shawn Michaels comes in and like kicks you in the chin? And they always add in like the wrestling. <laughs> oh, an RKO. Like, like, re- like remixes they, they of do, it where someone comes yeah, in and kicks you. They do an RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. So you found, we're going to tweet it out at the Bonfire SX. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It's no big deal. 1.3 million. Damn. That, Finding that's true love. Dude. It got like 100 million on Facebook. Really? Did you have yeah. to walk through fire with goggles on to get this dog? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I was just shooting this uh, this awful TV show in Peru. It was like mountain climbing with the stars. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, a bunch of like, I don't know. Uh, do you, that's... Why do we like this celebrity jungle adventure with <laughs> Steve <laughs> He goes, guys, there's nothing left. He goes, mountain Mountain climbing. What? <laughs> you climb mountains with celebrities. They go, God damn it. When, just when I think the barrel's empty, you still got and it was a, a It was a Peruvian show or was it, it was, an American no, no, show? No, no, no. It was, um, it was for YouTube Red, or, or they're calling it now YouTube Premium. Premium. Because of Red right. Tube? <laughs> I love that. They didn't do enough research to be like, we'll call it YouTube Red. Everyone's like, you mean we're a jerk off to it? And oh, like, it was what? full frontal? Oh, doing full frontal there? Oh, dude, I got uh, Yeah. I have a pawn website I'm trying to start called Pawn Hub. So it shouldn't be a fucking problem when we do the licensing. <laughs> right. Yeah, but uh, so I didn't have to do shit. The production took care of all the, you know, egregious paperwork to get her home. That's oh, really? Fan. That's yeah. fucking genius. Yeah, it was pretty cool. All I had to do that's was so much better. Than, that's so much better than getting to, like, bring shoes home from set. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Usually you have to argue about that. He goes, well, can I buy them then? <laughs> Right. Can I keep these shoes from so, set? So when's the last time I saw you, man? Was, I, I remember coming in in L.A. But was I, in L.A. I, yeah, I think had, that was it. Had I, I already I had already jacked off in the airplane? No. no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I think Jay would have asked that first things first when you saw him. Uh, How'd dude, you I'm, pull it off? Uh, Literally and figuratively, dude. I'm I'm so excited, man, with, with this new tour I'm doing. It's it's called Steve O's Bucket List Tour, and uh, <laughs> the, like every item on my bucket list is just fucking absurd like skyjacking right like this is i go up in the airplane with the i'm, I'm butt naked with the tandem uh t- skydive instructor strapped to my back what was his name uh doggo was doggo he hot? <laughs> was he hot? you gotta have a you gotta have a pretty fucking chill name to be like yeah dude smack one off in front of me when i jump out of this plane he's like i'll bounce yeah. you out you got you almost there you need anything from me uh, dude, it was just an epic saga man and uh you're just finding the company and the whole you know everything and everything involved but yeah sure enough um i uh i, I whacked off Against all odds. To complete, to completion. Spoiler alert, you came? Yeah, on the way out of the airplane. I'll tell oh, you wait, what. did you have to edge, like, edge, like, <laughs> as you're edging towards oh, yeah. the plane? I, you're uh, like, yeah, I'm almost right there. <laughs> I'm almost right there. Then that light goes. You're like, go, 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 go. go. Yeah, I, I, gave, uh, I, gave, I gave my sign. You know, it was, it was <laughs> as I scooched out, the whole side of the plane was wide open. And uh, because I had the dude on my back, it was like I was able to actually be out in the wind outside of the airplane, but not quite having fallen yet. And so as I blasted the load, I was outside of the airplane. The wind caught it, fucking just shot it right into the slow motion camera on the side of the airplane as I fell out. (laughs) Dude, that is a fucking, that's draining a fadeaway three (laughs) with your holding your hands up. They call that the no looker. Yeah. Oh my God, this son of a bunch, he brought Side of us. I, and dude, it was like, I mean, talk about against all odds. I got a dude strapped on my back, a plane full of dudes, fucking 15,000 feet up in the air. It is cold. Yeah. And I had to I had to blow a load within a precise window of two minutes. <laughs> what, you had because, a launch? You had a launch window? Well, well if, uh, if, if, if we fell out of the airplane, like before the two minute window or after, then we're going to miss the drop zone. <laughs> So it had to, so talk about threading the needle, dude. I had to fucking, and, uh, and, and, uh, uh, you know, I was watching a porno on this portable DVD player up in the plane. And, um, with a guy strapped to your back. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, that's so funny. This one, he goes, Yeah, this is a good one. 
<laughs> this is like going go forward. He goes, there, was some, there was something good on the last page you skipped. <laughs> There's something good on the page he one. Goes, Wait, what did she say? What did she say? What did she say when he was undoing his pants? Go back. Go back. Go back. Is that his stepmom or his? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't get over how great you guys look. Oh, okay. you know, oh. and, and you in particular. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're you're, you're Big J's old lady. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> old being the key word. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's fucking insane that you were able to get hard. Let I know. alone tell me come. about it. I was tell texturing you it. jerked off and came while skydiving. I wonder if the the force of the wind coming up, like if you couldn't actually come, or if it would do something dangerous, like shoot your cum back into your pee hole in some weird way. Right. Yeah. Open you up it like was, a toilet. It was not fucking easy, man. I and, have, uh, oh, yeah. How did you... I, I ate four dick pills for breakfast. I, <laughs> I saved up a, a, a... I didn't blow a load for four days before doing <laughs> so it. So you were leaking. Up. Oh, and, you want to have a big batch, too. That's yeah, important, yeah. Uh, big batch. I planned that. And, uh, and, and Did I, you edge those four days? Do you kind of... If I <laughs> if I know I want to get a big batch, I half jerk a couple times. Dude, I would have been walking <laughs> around... Trying to load the chamber. Trying, trying to backlog the chamber. I would have been walking around doing some Sarah Connor pump. <laughs> just a fucking T two like a tick tock. I always worry that fucking. I, I do it until I do it until I leave a, a little something starting to come out, and then you let that dry. Like remember how your Elmer's glue? You just yeah. let it dry, you and then when it. I'm ready to chamber, yeah, you just flick off the old stuff and fire out the new. I, I mean, the fact that you were. I know it was. It was. It was like the whole thing. I mean, as, as far as like a stand up bit. As well as you know, a jackass bit. Yeah. Like in in both cases, it's fu- it's off the fucking charts, man. And I'm so excited because my new tour, like uh, I go through like the act takes you through the bucket list, and after each bit, I screen it in the in the club. Oh, so, so you show the thing fully fucking multimedia. And uh, dude, I've had every city we've been to. Of course, when I do four shows every city. At least one person has completely passed out cold in the audience, like due to the the vasectomy Olympics. <laughs> That's another another one of my bits. Like, the p- motherfuckers pass out cold and get carried out. Dude, like, from just watching yeah, a video. From, from watching a video. Is, is it ever been a girl, or is it most? Uh, is it all dudes? Scott, have we ever had a girl pass out? It's yeah. all dudes. Yeah, because dudes are like this. They're like, <laughs> it's like yeah, fantasy. I like when you Scott back there. That's, that's Scott's specialty. We ever have to drag a chick out of this thing? <laughs> No, Scott would know. <laughs> right. Well, that's my tour manager, Scott. Dude, right cool. dude can deadlift 400 pounds of passed out dude. <laughs> he watches him not get and, snipped. Dude, I have like, when you buy tickets for any of my shows on the, like, you know, on the website, it, uh, it's, it's like, I, I acknowledge, you know, like the, I'm like, what is that? elements like, legal, of the show. Legal waivers, dude. Like actually <laughs> posted like all over the venue and shit. Like by entering this. Comedy you know, that might murder your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Steve-O's bucket list. You can go to Steve-O.com and get tickets and check out where the bucket list is coming. The bucket list tour. It's uh, Albany, Buffalo, Tempe, Arizona. Uh, it's going to be in Funny Denver. Bone. You were just there, Dan. I was just yeah. there. Yeah, your, your picture was up on the oh, cool, marquee. Oh, cool, Ah, dude, my little fucking webmaster, this this kid in uh, Australia, man, he's on point, dude. Look yeah. at everything's off. I mean, we don't have to read all, all the dates. Yeah, right? but that is well done. That's a yeah. good website. Well, thanks. Funny man. when what comics other- check out other comics websites, you go. You oh, what is, what is in the yeah. other bits? The other bucket list. Uh, uh, okay, dude, I got uh, the vasectomy Olympics. Um, dick painting is, is a real... Oh, dude, I should have brought a, one of my pens. <laughs> I got... This is the premise for this one I'm just so, I'm so in love with. I figured since women can paint their boobs and show them on Instagram, yeah. I should be able to paint my dick and do whatever I want. True. So I put together this, this like, cyclist suit with uh, fucking... Uh, you know, like the spandex shirt, yeah, the sure. 10-speed bike, and the helmet, and we just painted on the shorts. Like, <laughs> just, just straight black paint. So I can go cruising around, like, riding this bicycle and crashing it in front of people, and they're like, oh, are you okay? They reach out their hand to lift me up, and I've just got my schlong fucking <laughs> like that. And so we got me all, all decked out, and, you know, the, the, the costume just looked fucking hilarious. And I took a photo like hoisting up the bike. I text this photo to Knoxville and he writes back, that's the smallest black dick I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I took that same photo that, that I texted to Knoxville and uh, you know when you're a kid you had these pens that like it was like a chick in a bikini but if yes. you turn it upside down the bikini disappears. Those are uh, my favorite pens. I know. So, I made, so I'm selling them on this fucking tour. It's a pen where it's me holding up the, the bike and, uh, and I've got solid black shorts but if you turn it upside down the shorts disappear and there's my dick 
<laughs> with, the, with the black paint on it? Yeah, with the black paint on it. I was going to say, I thought you were going to see you ride, rode around the bike. I'm like, if you ride around... That's what's so funny about those when the girls do that. Like, they yeah. paint on jeans, and will anybody notice in a store if a girl's pussy and asshole are out? And it's always, like, at first, like, look, no one notices. He goes, by the second store, they always notice because uh, their pussy and asshole look like the <laughs> Ultimate Warrior's face at the end of WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, like, so it's like, it's like a half oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, was your, was your <laughs> asshole, was your <laughs> asshole <laughs> in a cage match with the natural disasters? <laughs> Just got fucking peeling off. Yeah. Dude, that's hilarious. It looks like Sting at the end of War Games. Yeah. <laughs> fucking peeled on the top eyebrow. Dude, that's a fucking great pen, though, because those oh, were... Dude. When my, I, uh, I, it's so funny. I'm sorry for cutting off. No. It's so, so fucking funny, because like, the pen uh, costs us $1.80, and we sell them for 15 bucks, right? So, like, <laughs> yeah. so people are like, dude, 15 bucks, and, and Scott's like, it's his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Buying it for the cock, <laughs> right? I mean, how many comics are out there selling pictures of their cock? Not. Yeah. It'd be great if you had a lot of technical information on the actual pen part. He goes, "Well, it's a it's a point five millimeter roller." Goes, I, uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> worth, uh, second of all, it's refillable, so I don't even understand what this conversation is about. Uh, pretty and st- standard size, Office right. Max, you can get it anywhere. I'll tell you this, fucking you, magic. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> fucking, <laughs> we brought some of the dark arts and mixed that with ink, and now you have your fucking. Each pen has its own incantation put on it. That lets, yeah. the, that lets this magic happen. Are you? Um, before you came in, we were we were gonna hold off to to watch this with you. But we have a, a video we want to watch of uh, little. Do you know who little Boosie is? He's a rapper. Ooh, it sounds a little familiar. I, I was unfam- I've heard the name before. I don't know who he is. But on World Star Hip Hop today, they had a video of him. I guess. Is that, is that something that you frequent pretty regularly? No, it's his news source. First thing every day. That's where, that's where you get your news That's from. my CNN, man. <laughs> if I, I'm pretty sure I could plant information on World Star Hip Hop that Jay would believe is news so if I got in. it on there. If you put on... The only thing... The only footage I've ever watched of Donald Trump is when I click the video, it says, Donald Trump fucking up again. <laughs> Jay, Shake SMH. <laughs> yeah, Jay, Jay needs super hit, uh, hood introductions to all his news stories where he goes, oh man, Saudi Arabia popping off at the mouth. You ain't even going to believe what they did. And he's like, do you know they killed a journalist? Obama they, going ham on yeah, Syria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's most of Jay's knowledge. comes like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this little I, boosie? I thought you might uh, uh, have two because I, I just see I'm dealing now with uh, I almost feel bad saying it, but uh, a, <laughs> a, a, a stalker of a, a much more famous a friend of ours is like trying to get a hold of me, dude. That's so funny. like in a really aggressive. But way. that's funny when a st- when a, when someone like you, how you feel when someone comes to you and you go, "Hey, you're the one I can uh, ac- I got access to," and you go, "Fuck I, like, you, man, I'm doing pretty good." Uh, yeah, I go. You shouldn't be able to get a hold of me either. <laughs> <laughs> you go, "Oh my god, do you know that guy? Can I talk to that guy?" You go, "This fucking can't talk to me. This I, fucking jerk." I gotta find out how Facebook's work works because apparently anyone can Facebook phone call me. Oh, somehow. you you downloaded Messenger. Yeah, how else do you get your messages on Facebook? I don't, dude. I don't care about it. On the computer. On the computer. you can get them, but if you want to get them on your cell phone, you got to download the... And that's where that's the problem they have to be able to call you? No, it's in the... If you read read the terms and agreements, it says you allow Facebook to have your cell phone number and other Facebook users can contact you via your cell phone. Yeah, you're blowing it in the settings. (laughs) (laughs) Steve was absolutely correct. You fucked up in the settings. Well, how far these uh, fans are willing to go to get your attention, this made me laugh because I don't know if I would normally click this, uh, except it was in the uncensored part. So, so I was like, what is this girl going to do? Uh, she got fake lips, right? I mean, yeah, but this is great. Lil Boosie's a rapper. He's talking on Instagram Live to this girl, and he just was- everything about her voice, dude, yeah. bl- a white girl with a hip-hop thing, and then revealing her body, this hilarious sort of weird mom body she can, has Can for I guess him? on the well, voice? The she's saying. Like, it's just can great. Can I guess on the voice before we see it? It's uh-huh. going to be like this. My pussy's so good. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of. So good. She and goes, she got a brother. Y'all, oh, you all, y'all already know? Y'all she already got, know? Oh, oh, yeah. Now this pussy was up. And then the dude going, Darlene, <laughs> Darlene, the fucking Camry is blocking me. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Am I not wrong? I know white it's, trash. It's more... <sighs> I think it's definitely southern white garbage for sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll let's all take our temperature. We've all been, if you get- 
<laughs> on the old, the new back page site. Aaron Hicks, wow. hook, hook me up. I, I messaged you, so see if you can message me back. Hell, when you was down here back in the day, oh, the she police is kept fucking us off. Southern. Yeah, um, she I had like to mention your mama and you. And Wait, your pause husband. it, by the way. I, I, like, I, like I want you to pay attention for some key words here. She, she sounds says. like Boomhauer from fucking <laughs> King has, of the Hill. He has, he says something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go down. I'll give you a put down. I'm trying to reach you. Come on, down. Have you know that Danielle Brijoli? Yeah. The cash me outside chick. Oh, yeah. He's my neighbor. You <laughs> come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. Yeah. You put in a good word for us. We love her. Dude, we've, we yeah. went 180 I mean, on her. I, I still haven't talked to her. Um, and, and You've never to, uh, to caught her outside? <laughs> <laughs> That was perfect. That was really good. I know. I love you, Jay. I mean, sometimes just fucking preparation meets opportunity, and you just fucking... You open the window. I yeah. just Watching through. that home run leave the park. Like, yeah, that's my friend. That's my uh, friend. That's so good. Um, we, we've driven past her a bunch of times. I've never had the nerve to get out and introduce myself. You could. Uh, there's a good tie into Theo Vaughn. You know Theo? Sure. He was just in her last video. Okay. As a pedophile that she brands oh, on his forehead. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Did a great well, job. We love her. I've gone 180. You know, we came out first saying what a horrible thing it was that this right. young girl's acting like this, and she <clears throat> never had shit. Then society just made her a bazillionaire, and now I'm like, fuck it, steering I mean, into it. I like yeah. her now. Dude, it's crazy, man. They're like she's selling out like large venues like, every time. Uh, <laughs> someone that just did a very half sold Albany Funny Bone. I'll tell you. <laughs> That stings. <laughs> he goes, uh, no one wants to catch me inside. And then, and then, <laughs> let alone fucking anywhere. And the staff, tell, the staff tells you, goes, that wasn't your fault, dude. He goes, you're, fu you're competing with Brajoli this week. <laughs> goes, oh, dude, uh, catch me outside in town. Bahad Bahabies in town. Bad Bahabi. Bahad Bahabi. Also, there's, uh, there's a giveaway at uh, Toyota. There's a Toyota thon there's going the, uh, on. There's also a Toyota thon. I used to get the worst ones. He goes, oh, man, I'm sorry there's nobody here this weekend for any of the shows. And they go, no, it's fine. You're art. There's uh, there's the pumpkin festivals this weekend. And yeah, they <laughs> always have something. Oh, dude, you're dealing with Honda's deals days of summer. You go, it's <laughs> December. And they go, Theo Vaughn's about to get it. It's yeah. really uncomfortable how big her boobs are. It's yes. crazy uncomfortable. It's really you know what, Steve? I don't want to say this, but that's what I avoid talking about the whole time because I'm a titty guy, and they're just like, God damn it, it's a child. Right. I mean, they are monstrous. Yeah. <laughs> It, she, it, I can't believe, and she's looked exactly the same since she was 14 or something. She's like 13, 15 now, she right? she came out. I, right, I think she's 15. It's unbelievable. I oh. know, oh, it's really upsetting. I know. <laughs> three more years? A security. <laughs> it's really upsetting. I have to wait for three more years for the fappening to get on this? <laughs> Look at that. You know how old I'm going to be? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be 44. It's still going to be gross then. Come I mean, on. that's, that's a, a child. That's nuts. That actually, yeah, it is real. I mean, I don't yeah. know if they're real. Well, that's funny. To cycle back, he starts asking her about if things are real, and one of the things she says are real are her eyes. What? She goes, my eyes real, too. People be asking that all the time. Dang on, we weird to go up and do it. She goes, he's a girl who goes, a lot of people think I have glass eyes, but... <laughs> but this, but this, to this girl, this is her shot at the big time. This is her fucking... This is she it. gained audience with little Boosie. She, yeah. <laughs> you want to sit down with the little Boosie? <laughs> I don't even know. Am I saying his name right? Boosie? Oh, Boosie, I think. Yeah, little Boosie. Well, let's see where this he goes. He is. This is uh, just another Tuesday for him. Man, the kids and stuff, and I, I sent them to you, but I don't know if you ever got them or whatever. But uh, be for real, man. Goddamn, send me something. What are we watching? I don't know. <laughs> Instagram Live. I think this is a murder video. Uh, a wacky white girl has somehow got little Boosie to just take her... Uh, is on Instagram Live when you're Instagram Live you can, can people split windows and stuff can you I don't know I, I think saying. you can I that's what's know. happening here so this is like a direct person uh, that he accepted and I think it's like a naked odd white woman who I like when they talk to you also or not to you but to this guy when they talk to the celebrities like that yeah. Like, just that goes, did you get, I don't know if you got it, it goes, I sent you a, uh, a box of my hair Yeah. last month, did I you get that? I sent you toenails for the <laughs> yeah. past six months, were you getting my envelope of toenails? So Lil Boosie's on top, he's like a, uh, I guess a well-known rapper, and the girl underneath is a fan of his that got his attention, and he is nonchalantly just 
starts asking her to do weird things. And she is like, oh, yeah, is that what you want? Okay. And she starts okay. doing it. It gets do bizarre. Think, do you think she gets naked before the call or during Buddy, the call? Buddy, she's naked already. That's what I'm saying. She's she currently put, naked. Does she put the oh. phone down and she goes, no, I'm still here. Hold so, on. So the world star just goes ahead and shows everything? Yeah. Well, they'll let you know that it's not safe for work. Oh, gotcha. But I'll tell you what, it's all safe for when I'm taking a shit when I'm watching it on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Christine thinks you're just in there talking to a southern hurricane. She wishes I was jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> I love like, you, Bill C. I would love to meet you, so please don't play. You know I'm a man. I got you, man. I got you. These eyes real too. Everything real. My ass real. These lips real. It's all real. Ain't no fake fake over here. <laughs> Suck that finger again. Taste that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> just sucking her thumb. Oh, she just does it. Suck your pussy. <laughs> you suck your thumb like a child. Yeah, that's how we gonna know if it's, if you don't taste it, it ain't clean. You gotta taste that. Ah, uh, uh, baby, she clean. She better clean now. That's all the way a nigga gonna know. This man good. She clean. Yeah, that's all the way a nigga gonna know it's clean if you taste that. She stay, she stay clean now. She stay that's ready. Clean. It'd be funny if you're a guy like sleeping in the room next to it and you're just hearing this loud. You go, it's just fucking clean. Is it clean? <laughs> oh, it clean. <laughs> yeah. it clean. She just keeps sniffing her own pussy for so her. She, it's she's a bizarre just, thing. She's fingering her pussy and then sucking on it. Yes. Okay. And he goes, "That's how you know." <laughs> I mean, it, Yo, Lil Boosie is him number 423. You gotta suck your own pussy. That's how you know it clean. He's he's ripping a huge fucking blunt, which the second I got high, I would just see all the silliness in this, and I'd be like, you should go put on some clothes. Yeah, lady, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I just... Well, now she's sucking on her fucking... It looks like her Lexapro bottle. <laughs> <laughs> she's sucking on a, a, a travel size Listerine. <laughs> she, That's oh, really she what it is. That really is what it is. I do a lot of traveling. <laughs> you cynical. You bad ass music cynical. Yeah, ooh. Stay hygiened up, baby. I stay oh, hygiened up. Oh, hygiene. I'm clean. <laughs> good. <laughs> See, my hygiene good. I mean, and your pussy clean, okay? That's the first sentence I've understood. <laughs> and your pussy clean. Oh, hey. Oh, here we go. Let me see that pussy. <laughs> she clean, baby. That pussy look clean. Uh, see, clean. You want to see it? <laughs> yeah, see that. I don't want to get kicked off of here, but I'm going to look at it real quick, okay? <laughs> she has a <laughs> tribeswoman's body. Yeah. <laughs> National Geographic. Oh, yeah, that little pussy can tight, too. <laughs> that little pussy. She tight. ready. That She's quoting right Tiffany Haddish. Shot hey, Tiffany Haddish. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Tiffany. Getting in a fucking Instagram live. Uh -huh. Tina, fucking. Really, as dumb as shit, little boosties, what makes me laugh as much as any goes, goes, look. Oh, wait, you know, here. What was Tiffany's comment? <laughs> oh, she, yeah, yeah. She look ready. at it. Yeah, she liked it in the ass. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ooh, yeah, look at that ass. So that bit like, like the pussy. Oh, that would kind of hurt. You know, what's funny is she picked it up. If she picked it up a little hurt, and she goes, "Did you say my asshole look like my pussy?" He goes, yeah, yeah, they exactly the he same. Goes, Ain't one better than the other. She goes, mm. "Doctor says I got a lazy butthole. That's why it said it looks like a pussy." Wait, no, back up. What is he saying? He's bobbing his head. I came before this. Who's giving all the hearts? <laughs> this is definitely public. Who's giving all the hearts? Your oh, Stacy 256, a little perfect. Your anus is very clean. <laughs> Up shit, Mark. I mean, dude, that's crazy that other people are watching this on Instagram Live just fucking... Why? How could you look away from it? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> commenting, just being, like, supportive. Like, hey, good butthole. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, oh Boosie, it. you right. That does look clean. I think her eyes fake, though. Mm -hmm. I think her eyes may mad fake. Can show me how you gonna uh, send me them tickets or what? <laughs> yeah, I got you, man. VIP status, man. You send it, man. Every time we come to the city, anyone, young blue, anybody come to the city, call it, man. You send it, man. Okay, I didn't catch that. So, are we good for tickets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah. So, are you so, gonna put them under my name plus three, I, I guess, or is it gonna give you everybody's name? Are those a will call? <laughs> I just don't want to show up. If I'm supposed to have something printed out, you gotta tell me before I leave the house. I uh... ah, Bootsy, I hate to do this because I know you're in a car with some friends. Again, I showed you my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering if I can get tickets. It's me. All right. It's, it's me Instagramming Boozy. Hey, a little Boozy dance owner. Let me show you my butthole real quick. 
quick. So are those good for tickets? <laughs> Man, who the fuck is you? What is she saying? Who after this that? white boy showing me his hairy ass asshole? What is she saying? Little boozy, are we cool? Can I get tickets? See, and if you get on the old the new back page side, I'll be on the damn Haley hell. Haley on the old back page. CDX guy, goddamn. Dude, this adult. video needs straight That's subtitles. Dude, I did just pick up something. She said her name's Haley in back pages, which means that's a pro, buddy. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is pro level. <laughs> That's a hooker. <laughs> My name Haley and back pages. I got shit. a dang old hey, You get a gumbo recipe in my butthole. That's cool. And it, I like that. Three months from now, he goes, Yo, remember that bitch from uh, we met that girl, Haley? He goes, I don't remember who Haley he goes, Haley, man, butthole look like a pussy. <laughs> oh, a butthole pussy. Oh, yeah, butthole pussy. What the fuck's butthole doing? That's Charlotte, right? <laughs> uh, was that in Charlotte? <laughs> That was in the North Carolina leg of the tour. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't ashamed of this tit. Uh, take what, her mind. What's your, what's your uh, back page is? Haley. But you got to go to Adult Look and go to Huntsville and then go to Haley. Huntsville, oh, Alabama. I oh. will be there. Go <laughs> hey, get tickets to see Steve Ho in Huntsville. Uh, don't show him your butthole. Because I want to see for real. All right, it's done. Say no more. I'm a holler. Dude, it's so funny that he's... Thank you for uh, texting me. I'll talk to you later. Let me All put right, my right. clothes on, because don't nobody else get the respect you get, Boosie. Anybody so... else got to pay for that shit. Man, hold on. Pause Everybody it. else has to pay for that shit. <laughs> no one gets the respect you get. Yeah. <laughs> also, he has such fucking hanging up with my grandma tone when he goes, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everything she's saying, he's going, okay, I'll see you when I'm there. Yeah. I think, okay. I think World, World Star could have done a little bit of editing. On yes. That. I completely agree I with know. you. Could have gone right I'll to tell you what, dude, to me, that's like appetite for destruction. That's the whole thing's perfect. <laughs> everything's, <laughs> everything's necessary. <laughs> You can have it. Look, I don't like Paradise City on its own, but you're gonna take it out of flavor destruction. No, you gotta leave it in there. It all builds. You don't watch parts of The Godfather. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, that's just fucking that girl. I love that she's like, I got Bootsy tickets today. My yeah. eyes real before you ask. Everybody ask. <laughs> Everybody ask all but, the time. But no one did ask. <laughs> no one asked that day. Her narrator. <laughs> yeah. No one ever asked to see her eyes. It was always her butthole. <laughs> You want to take our last break? Her pussy like butthole. We will take our last break. We're hanging out with Steve O, who's on the Bucket List Tour. Uh, you can check out all of the dates at steveo.com. And we'll be right back. This is the Bonfire. And now, back to the Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Uh, yeah. Little boozy. Little boots. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder, hanging out with Steve O today. Uh, Steve-O, if you want to get tickets to his bucket list tour, you can go to steveo.com. Um, we think we found her. Or we yeah. did. We did find her. We found her. We Ladies just... and gentlemen, we got him. Black Lou's doing everything he can. The internet is an amazing place that you can just find a girl who showed a rapper her butthole on World Star. <laughs> She's stuck on her finger. That's her trait. That's There's her technique. Like this so y'all know my pussy and butthole clean. I keep it clean. It'd be great if she went to do it and then just winced once without knowing it. She's like, oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> Caught me off guard. By being on this page, you've now fucked that computer, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, that can, this computer's tomorrow. They're going to boot it up. <laughs> this is going to fucking... It's going to look like it's loading a program from the 80s. It's it's like, Christine happening? looking for Alabama pussy? Yeah. Oh, my God. The show before us was hiring escorts. <laughs> Steve-O's bucket list tour go, happening now. Go to steveo.com. Uh, for ticket dates. This uh, weekend's Buffalo. Yeah, Helium. And, Buffalo Helium. And uh, next weekend is Albany. All right. So, yeah, uh, Buffalo Helium. Yeah, and Buffalo Helium's funny great. Room. I love that club. You've been there before? Yeah, dude. I've been to be Buffalo Helium a bunch. It's yeah. a fucking great. I love them all. Yeah. Philly Helium's great. Yeah, Portland, yeah. I, Portland's got the dispensary. <laughs> That's what I love about it now. That it's You can just go down to the dispensary and they're like, yeah, just go downstairs in between shows. And you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, right. yeah, the weed dispensary right at the base. Of, yeah, uh, I, I also just love the club, the way the room's set up, Portland Helium. It's weird. The first thing you said about it is that there's weed downstairs. I don't know. Well, maybe that's my thing. <laughs> maybe that's my thing and I enjoy it. And oh, that's it's why a great I'm club. Because what is it, like the audience set up? He goes, well, there's weed right downstairs. <laughs> there's something for me to forget that uh, I was there that weekend. Taco Bell on the corner. That's pretty great. Yeah, so, a, dude, Big J just fucking killing it lately. Yeah, you're moving up in 
the world. Goddamn right he is. Netflix special. I love it. The Degenerates, episode one on Netflix. Go stream that shit right now. It's a I, testament to how much we love this show. Dan's doing <laughs> Dan's doing billions on Showtime, which is huge. Yeah. Humongous show. So yeah, everything, everything everything's moving and shaking. It's yeah. good, man. Yeah, like uh you've seen on Twitter when I say my favorite comics on the planet. Ian Edwards and Big J Oakers. Fuck Hell yeah. yeah. For, I fucking love Ian just taped a special. Yep. Did he? Just taped yeah. an hour special. For Presented by Bill Burr for Comedy Central. Comedy Central. Oh, did a Bill Burr one, yeah. Comedy yeah. Central Hour, which That's will be great. fucking He's awesome. He's doing Jessica Kearson, too, man. He's really yeah. grabbing great people and doing that, man. That's so cool. You're just, you're, what you're doing now, the Bugless Tour is going to be a special. Ultimately. I, I'm working on making it a series. Really? Oh, right? Like, uh, where every uh, each item gets an episode. Okay. And you wanted to go like on a network, or at this point, are you able to do it? Like, uh, well, not a lot of networks are going to show skyjacking. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. I, I heard guess. CBS really ra- loosened up their practices and standards. <laughs> Have I talked to you about CBS Direct? <laughs> yeah. What if we told you NBC Family is going in a much different direction? Right. The Hallmark Channel is looking for some late night programming. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, with Netflix and stuff like that, it's just sure. Be- I heard Netflix has a film where uh, someone ejaculates. It's her? Yes, pick up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. We got her. She wants to talk to TiVo? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Nice. Hang on. Is this, is this Haley? Do we have Haley on the line? I can't hear nothing. Say it again. Haley? Is this TiVo? Yeah, what up? How's it going, Haley? Is this him for real? It is certainly <laughs> Steve-O for real. And I have just viewed your butthole. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I got to say... That's a fine little BH you got right there. <laughs> oh my God, how embarrassing! Because it was it, okay. Yeah, I, I'm the person. I know you've done more embarrassing stuff. I love your ass, though. Sure. Yeah, my butthole is far more blown out than yours. <laughs> <laughs> my butthole's a mess, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> so now, was it you that broke your dick or Johnny Knoxville? Nah, Knoxville was the one who broke his dick. Uh, so when's this Boosie concert? I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, and, and, and do you have an extra ticket for me? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, look. That's what I was going to tell you. It, it, I got VIP, but it, it, it wasn't for that. That's not what I was saying. I know that's what it looked like, and I was. It sounded like, are you going to give me some tickets for doing this and da 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 da? da. But that's not why I did it. You did it because you have the utmost respect for Boosie, and and, and so do I. You know, I right. would show him my butthole in a flash. Tickets or no <laughs> tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm just sitting here crying, and I'm glad you called and fucking made me feel better. Well, yeah, you should feel you should feel not only better, but you should feel fucking great. Today should be the best day of your life. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, you've always I, been calling me like with the bullshit, saying they're boosy and uh, they're boosy. Oh uh, no, 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 no. We're not boosy, and and uh, and fuck all those people. Uh, now I saw on your page it says that they got no pimps, no boyfriends. Uh, right. That's good. Right. Yeah, fuck a pimp, huh? Right. Yeah, one time I was in New York City and I was trying to film a stunt where I went under a bridge and paid a hooker to piss on me. Uh, I did it. It was great. But I'll tell you, I had a bad experience negotiating with those fucking pimps. I did not enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you said you was in where? Uh, that was underneath the bridge in New York City quite a while ago. I mummified myself in saran wrap. It was really pretty funny. Of course, with you, I wouldn't have to do that. I know that because I've seen that pussy's clean. <laughs> are you, are, um, so what radio station is this? This is uh, Comedy Central. Comedy, no. Ce- Comedy Central Radio on Sirius XM. And you're live with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. These guys are funny motherfuckers. Hell yeah. So you're like sitting there doing an interview? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was doing an interview. Correct. And then, I'm, the, I'm the special guest, and, and I got to say this episode is hot. And it only got hotter once we got you on the line. It's true. That is very true. I saw the video. This is Jay. I saw the, uh, if you keep in score. I'm just mad because I didn't post it and go viral, and I didn't hit World Star with it, so I could get the check. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. I'll this tell is, you this what. Is, this we're is not Dan, talking we're not talking Dan Jay's co-host. Right now. Yeah, and yeah. You're the star of the video. You're the one we wanted to talk to. We don't want to talk to Boozy. Yeah, I, I, I concur. Now, now, if you don't mind my asking, Haley, uh, what are your rates? 
My rate. Uh, I'm on live on the radio station right now. It's, yeah, it's, it's a it's, subscription it's, based it's, thing. It's Sirius XM. It's satellite. Nobody listens it's to it. Behind the yeah. paywall. Don't worry about it. This is, these are people that just bought cars that their subscription is going to cancel in like three months. It's like um, one fifty for thirty minutes and two fifty for an hour. That's reasonable. That is I'm gonna tell you right out of the gates. That's really reasonable for clean pussy. Holy <laughs> moly! Right. <laughs> she taste tested that. It herself. It's clean. I mean, That's good. Know, I work with people at high too. It's Christmas time. You know, I do specials, shit like that too. She oh, works with people. Now, what Magnanimous. if what if you were with a guy like me, Haley, and and uh, the guy didn't need more than five minutes? What what do you mean? Like, what if if he didn't need more than five minutes? If a guy comes fast, your pussy's very clean. <laughs> right. If uh, if a guy finishes in five minutes, or or maybe we he could say, look. Are we I talking can... about any guy? Or are we talking about you? We're talking oh. about specifically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, okay you, let's go. No, let's go. Me. But yeah. <laughs> but Steve... you, I do it for free. <laughs> oh, that's oh, great. Shit, I get the respect like Boosie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve will get that Boosie respect. Everybody else has to pay for that shit. Yeah, no rollover <laughs> minutes right. except for Steve O. <laughs> Steve O gets right. rollover minutes. <laughs> right. Uh, but you know what? I got to say, you are uh, you're, you're, you're a lovely lady. And uh, and you got a great, you know, a real great sense of humor. And uh, you're a good sport. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fun. Yeah. It's Haley, fun. I- Haley, if somebody like me walks in who it's, I know you don't know who I am, let's picture me like a. Jason a Momoa. pile of book, a pile of book bags, and a sweatsuit. Well, he looks like the guy in uh, Raising Arizona who uh, is chasing Tex Cobb, <laughs> Randall Tex Cobb. <laughs> right, one fifty, one hundred fifty to two fifty. Right, well, so right. yeah, so if you even if you pop off in five minutes, you're paying the half hour rate, which seems fair for your that, time. Yeah, you were prepared fair, to fair. go. Yeah. Will you let a guy go again in the half hour? Does he have a half hour total you time? You get the whole half hour, so. Whatever you get, the half hour. So if, he, if he's quick on the reload, he might be able to fire off twice in a half an hour. Have you yeah. ever had? Have you ever had to tap out from uh, size from dick size? No. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's clean. A- and accommodating pussy. That's pretty good. <laughs> right. That's good. Uh, You're not going to get service and a smile like that. So so how do you feel about a guy who, after he finishes, wants to snuggle? Oh, great question. Like, I, I, I never, ever was able to... And we're uh, talking a real light, like a lock-up, like a spooning. Yeah, N- not like, spooning. Not an intertwined. I don't like that. Like, doing calls, I don't like that. Like, I'm GFE, but I don't like, like, doing that shit. Boyfriend, girlfriend shit. If I'm not your girlfriend, I'm not your girlfriend. I'll make you feel good. I'll put on a good show. I'll give you what you want. But, like, all that extra shit, I don't, you know... What's the weirdest request you've ever had from somebody? There's got to be some great ones. Oh, uh, the weirdest, or, or well, the weirdest, it was kind of like the fucking sickest, like, sick. Like, this dude had called, and I could look, I didn't know if he was for real or if he was not for real. He was, I was ready to send him here and damn put, get him in trouble because he was talking about fucking coming with a five year old little girl. Yeah, I was funny. very real about that, and the fact that you would tell people about the I'm just joking because uh, <laughs> it was me. It was me. So that, um, oh, that's fucking okay. So back to this uh, girlfriend experience extra shit. Does that mean no deep tongue kissing? How about like like is, is, is kissing not cool? Kissing's cool. I don't oh. want to kiss everybody, but you know, kissing's cool. What about uh, just some light compliments? Like, those shoes are nice. <laughs> yeah. How about if I make a fart noise with my mouth on your belly? <laughs> that's cool, too. What about inside jokes? Inside jokes cool? If we have yeah, something, can cool I reference? Right. What if I want to smoke a little bit of crack uh, while we're on our date? I've had that. <laughs> okay. Do you, like, uh, would you enjoy a little bit of crack with me? No, I don't smoke crack. Okay. Uh, okay. Would you uh, Would you be comfortable with me arguing with bill collectors while you sat next to me on a couch? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Okay. This is just going for going for running. What about uh, What about other drugs? What, what drugs do you do? Smoke weed. Smoke yeah. weed. How about How about like a, a little bump? If I want to like maybe snort some coke off your asshole, is that okay? Yes. Okay, okay. Cool. Cool. Do you like a little coke in your asshole and numb it up a little bit? 
Uh, uh. Okay. I like I'm a, to try new shit. I like she's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I like about yeah. you? And I will say this, Haley, you're, you're open for negotiation, which I think is yeah. the sign of a, a, a great, you know, entrepreneur. Right. I mean, you got to meet people halfway, and yeah. uh, I think Haley knows that. Would Close you watch? Would deal. you watch me shadow box and tell I'm me I'm super tough everyone. and nobody can, no one can beat me? That's awesome. Could you tell me that you're scared, <laughs> and I'm going to say I'm scared, and you're going to tell me there's no way I'm going to win the fight? Did you? Can you tell me that I'm great and, and it's my dad's loss that he didn't pay more attention to me? <laughs> yeah. Would you be willing to break down high school football tape with me of where I made mistakes, maybe where I could have lined up to put myself in the play? <laughs> would, you, would you join me to my high school reunion <laughs> so that I can say, everybody, fuck you guys, I made it. And, if they, and if they go, absolutely, absolutely. And if they go, who's this girl? You say, uh, the cleanest asshole in all of Huntsville, and then spread your butt cheeks for all his friends? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> if we went to Applebee's, would you hold the thing that lets us know our table's ready and it vibrates? <laughs> You're like, so Hell I, yeah. So yeah. I make this money order payable to... Are we just going, Haley? <laughs> Are you Venmoing? Are you venmo capable? Are you venmo Because I'm about to dump some money in your account. <laughs> Are you Venmo capable? Do you do... Uh, I mean, of course, you do webcam as well as uh, real dates. Mm, yeah. Okay. Are you currently doing webcam? No. Um, can I ask no, you a question? No, I'm waiting on my cards to come in. I, haven't, I don't have my card right now. Uh, Haley, whenever we have uh, fun guests in, can we have Black Lou, our producer, contact you again so we can ha ask a bunch of questions with all of our great guests like, with you? Hell yeah. That's Jay's way of saying that you are a fucking star, Haley. Yeah, God You're a star. Man. You make great you make great radio and you answer uh, everything. She answered every question. Haley, yeah. you are in, indeed the definition of Thank very God, outgoing God. and mm, fun to be with. So Yeah. Okay, I, can y'all send can y'all send me the live I think that we could work that out, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. We'll take you off. We're, we're going to let you go. Hey, yeah, Black stay, on, get, stay on the line. Stay on the line. Our, our producer Luke. will talk to you. Stay on the line. They're going to download this motherfucker. They're going to send it over to you. And you've been, you've been a delight. Thank you so much, Thank Haley. Thank you, Haley. That's Haley. Clean. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Cleanest pussy in Huntsville. Ever. I mean, if you're in Huntsville <laughs> and you want a clean BH for $150 American. Little Boosie and uh, Steve-O approved. should have asked about anal. Damn. Uh, well, I mean, come on. I, mean, we gotta I don't stuff. mean to quote Boozy right now, like but that she's still, still on the horn. She's still on the horn, Lou. Put her back off for a second. Get her back in, Haley. Haley, Haley. one last. Boozy said his nephew wasn't paying. Oh. Haley, his I... nephew said he's... his nephew said that he wasn't paying. He said I ain't paying. Little so... Boozy said his nephew wasn't paying. Ah, uh, no. okay. Hey, Haley, is anal extra, or yeah. is anal just part of the half hour? It's extra. Extra. That's fair. How about if it's white dick though? No, I like. How I much? Like, I'm not, I don't discriminate. Okay. How, much, how much extra for anal? Seventy-five, hundred. Okay, you All know right. what? That's a, that's a that's a fair market vo uh, market Sliding price. scale, right? Okay, now <laughs> market price. Now market price. It. That's very fair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Haley. You have okay. been a delight. Let me ask one well, more sure. question. One last question. I, I have I have a friend, okay? Now now this this friend is out of his fucking mind. He would regularly drive from LA all the way down to Tijuana, which as you know is reasonably close to San Diego. He would go to Tijuana whorehouses, right, to have sex with hookers and he would he would ask them, uh <laughs> they would let him. They would. They would accept twenty dollars to have him fuck them with no rubber. No. Oh. Wow. Yeah, twenty bucks I don't extra. Do that. Twenty bucks. Smart, Haley. Yeah. I like Haley, where your head's at. I, I'm glad that you don't do that, Haley. What if I yeah. tell you my rhythm method is on point? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jay comes from a long lineage of sea captains. He goes, oh, wait, <laughs> <you go." laughs> where's your um? Where's your station at? Station New York City. We are we're based in New York out of New York City. City right yep. Now. New York City. Right. <laughs> so Sirius XM Comedy Central Radio. So we're going to put you on hold again. Hey, thank you so much. And Black Lou's going to give you all the info. We'll make sure we get you uh, at okay, least a well, file I'm of this. I got to be on the live. I wish I got viral other than filming my booty hole. But it's hell, right. whatever. Hey, whatever, whatever, whatever gets you out there. Okay, wait, whatever gets your foot in the door. I bet you would. I bet you would sell better than me at Albany Funny Bone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that bone. <laughs> thank you so much, Haley. Uh, Steve O's bucket list tour is happening now. 
now. Go to steveo.com. He's coming to Buffalo next weekend and then Albany the week after that. Go to steveo.com for tickets. Go to bigjcomedy.com for tour dates. DanSoder.com for his tour dates. Yeah, I'm off the road till the end of January. Sweet, <laughs> sweet. Ooh, I, have, uh, I have Uncle Vinny's this weekend, Ooh, so let's fill that Uncle Uncle Vinny's up. in Point Pleasant, Might New have Jersey. a fun guest with me on uh, one of those days, so... Mm. Go check that shit out. And thanks again to Brian Regan for stopping by. Follow us at the Bonfire SXM, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. It's only Monday. This is only Monday. Monday. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.